fireworks is a combustion reaction in which we're having oxygen and other fuels added together that produces light, sound, propels things through the air, and uh, even gives us a sense of feeling because of the pressure wave we get sometimes from that combustion reaction. It's a chemical reaction going on that we're able to see, and the fascinating thing about it is that chemistry deals with molecules and atoms that we can't see in that. But in fireworks, it's in a big enough scale, large enough presentation, that now we can see actually what's going on at a very small level in a large way. Colors come about because of some basic elements that we know how they will work in that flame chemistry we're talking about, that combustion reaction. Strontium is the predominant color or element used to get the color red. Barium is used most of the time to get green. Copper is often the one that's the primary for blue. Calcium is kind of an orange red. Sodium, we find all over the place, is a very brilliant or vivid yellow. And in a fireworks show, in the breadth of the whole show, all five senses are going to get involved. Visual, obviously, sound, uh, you're going to get the noise and stuff like that. You're, you're going to hear things and, and then because of the, the smoke and the different things like that, you're going to waft that a little bit. And, and then the actual, the loud noises made sometimes pr creates a pressure wave enough that you feel that pressure against your body. So your senses are all involved in the only one probably doesn't get that much and we hope it doesn't get involved at all is taste. But um, sometimes that smoke in the air and that people pick up on that that way. I think the other aspect that really fascinates me and is really um, vivid about fireworks is that it's really a in-action painting in the sky. Those people that really work with making the craft of a fireworks show put different components in there with the idea that it gets up there, it's going to present itself in different ways. Sometimes it's a specific pattern. One of the more interesting ones now is they actually get a cube in the sky. So you got a three-dimensional pattern created out of a one-dimensional device being launched into the air. And uh, just seeing how that unfolds and what they've done there, I think, is a really fascinating and interesting aspect of fireworks.